Hi guys, welcome back on the channel. Vela here from Vela SP Tech, and today we're gonna be doing something not so regular for the channel. This time it's gonna be all about SP02. Now, who knows what SP02 is? Does this ring any bell? Not really, right? All right, it is oxygen saturation. It's very important right now. You know that we are living in a pandemic and SpO2 or oxygen saturation is a very important measure of the amount of oxygen carrying hemoglobin in the blood relative to the amount of hemoglobin not carrying oxygen. The human body needs a certain level of oxygen in the blood or it will not function so efficiently. In fact, very low levels of SpO2 can result in some very serious symptoms. But please have in mind, I'm not a doctor and that's not a medical video. Anyway, going back to SpO2, how does the body maintain the normal SpO2 levels? It's very vital to maintain normal oxygen saturation levels in order to prevent the hypoxia. The most important way that the body maintains the healthy SpO2 levels is really through breathing. So your lungs take oxygen that has been inhaled and binds it to this hemoglobin, then travels throughout the body with the payload of oxygen. The oxygen requirements of the body increase during times of physiological stress. So let's say if you're doing some sports, if you're running, you're gonna need more oxygen. And there are ways to measure SpO2, and this video is gonna be all about that. So I have here the Samsung S9, and you know that this wonder on the back measures SpO2, measures heart rate and pulse. So we have this thing here. I have the Huawei GT2 e-watch on my hand, on my left hand, and I have the Apple Watch 6S on my right wrist and then I have also a regular pulse oximeter. And this is really important because there are several ways for you to measure SpO2. The most common way is to use a pulse oximeter, which is actually what I have here in my hand, to measure the SpO2 levels in the blood, right? So there's something very easy, guys. Let me just show you. I'm going to unpack this one right now, right? Very, very simple, guys. You need to stick your finger here, then you can switch it on, right? When you switch it on, you can press one more time to even out the display. And now see guys, we have here the SpO2 measurement. We have also the pulse rate bits per minute. So let's wait a bit. Okay, 94, right? As you can see, using a pulse oximeter is very, very easy. You just need to place it on the finger and then you have these percentages. These percentages should be between 94 and 100%. What this indicates, the healthy level, right? This healthy level of hemoglobin carrying oxygen through the blood. If it is less than 94% or less than 90, then you might be in trouble. But again, guys, this is not a medical video. I just want to compare the measurements right here and then here and then here and then here, all right? So we're going to be doing this great comparison. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do another measurement here while not speaking to just see what the oximeter will tell me. 95, okay. At the same time, I'm going to be using the Huawei Watch GT2e. So it's very easy. You just need to click here, guys, SPO2. All right. And measurement starts. It's 3, 2, 1. Let's see. 99% of the watch. We can see there is a bit of a gap. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take the pulse oximeter and put it on this finger. Let's see if the reading is going to be a bit different. The watch is still measuring on my hand. 97, 97. So it's almost even. All right. Let's bring the Apple Watch 6S in the game. Okay. Starting measurement here as well. Let's do this try measurement. 97%. Okay. 95 on the pulse oximeter. Let's see what we're going to get here. 98 okay and now the last measurement guys is going to be with the sensor using the samsung galaxy s9 okay i have the s9 here i'm gonna press check i'm gonna put the finger by the way guys see the sensors all right let's see all right guys we can see 97 percent using here the sensors from the galaxy s9 and we can see 96 from the pulse oximeter right 97 here with the huawei watch and 97 also from the apple watch 6s final conclusion guys Whatever you use, you're gonna get pretty much the same, roughly the same values, no matter if you use the finger pulse oximeter on your finger or the S9 or the Huawei watch or the Apple watch. Now that's probably the best and most convenient thing. Still, we saw the real tests show almost the same values. Again, this is not really a medical video. The idea is just to compare these devices. If you enjoy these videos, a sub will be much appreciated, guys. Please stay safe, you and your families, and we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. With that said, VSD over and bye. bye.